A lot of news out of the medical field. And uh, a short time ago, I did have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Heather Hinshelwood about the very latest in your health headlines. And I do want to play out that conversation for you right now. A lot to get to in this week's health headlines, including rising cancer rates, listeria contamination, and back to school health. And to break it all down for us, I do want to bring in Dr. Heather Hinshelwood, the owner and chief medical officer of the Fromm Center for Restorative Health. Dr. Hinshelwood, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. Absolutely, Stephanie. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I do want to start with this, of course. There is a new study led by the American Cancer Society that shows certain types of cancers are more prevalent among Gen X and millennials. Now, the study published in the Journal of the Lancelet Public Health analyzed data from over 23 million patients who were diagnosed with 34 different types of cancers over two decades. Researchers found that higher rates for cancers, including kidney, small intestine, breast, testicular, and ovarian were much higher in both men and women born in 1990 than those born in 1955. So I do want to ask you why certain cancers are showing up in higher rates in younger people. Well, you know, that really is going to be not just the million dollar question, but really the trillion dollar question in terms of healthcare costs. You know, when we think about what our lives were like um, between 1955 and 1990, uh, that's, that's a big difference right there. You know, any, any difference is going to be a possible source of this because really, you know, all those cancers that you just mentioned, they, those are, that's a lot of different body systems. There's not like one underlying theme, you know, that ties those all together. It's really a bunch of different cancers are very obviously more common in younger patients, and that's a problem. You know, a, a big one, frankly, the, the biggest one that has changed between 1955 and 1990 is our diet. You know, the diets of people born in the 40s and even the 50s had a lot more in the way of fresh things we weren't doing all this processed stuff. There was a lot more fiber. And, you know, our there wasn't all this fast food. I mean, gosh, you know, when, when did McDonald's even become a thing? It wasn't until after that. So, you know, we're, I, I really think, you know, anything's a possibility. Our medications that we've used in the meantime have changed significantly. Our vaccinations have changed significantly. Our technology has changed significantly. You know, is this a cell phone thing? Is this something about some of the electronic signals we're around all the time? We don't know. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you, those are such far-reaching questions that I'm not really sure how we tease those out. And I think a lot of experts probably are of the same mindset as you. There are so many different potential factors uh, to lead to this result. So people listening, what can we do uh, to prevent these cancers and, and, and be as healthy as possible? I think, honestly, the most powerful thing that we have control over is our diet. You know, we've got to incorporate more fiber into our diet. And I don't mean just by popping a couple, you know, fiber tablets. Like, it's got to be an intentional addition to our diet as a whole. Fermented foods, you know, we are learning more and more about the role the gut microbiome plays in disease prevention and disease progression. And the, you know, the food, if you're eating out at, you know, fast food joints once or twice a day, that is not going to be anything friendly to your gut microbiome. But things like fiber, um, fermented foods, Greek yogurt, kefir, you know, all these things, um, those are really going to, to be um, beneficial. So do what you can, make the best choices you can with what you have in your control. And really, we need to be shopping the periphery of the of the um, of you know the grocery store and stay away from the the in, more the internal area where the all the processed foods are. Yeah, such great advice.